Hi there, this is Jonathan Ginsberg, and I want to talk to you today about um, pay periods. Uh, this is something that, for some reason, confuses a lot of folks, and I, I can understand why it can be a little confusing. But it's important to understand the difference between biweekly and semi-monthly pay periods when you're going into a bankruptcy. And the reason is very simple. Bankruptcy is a lot about math. Uh, a semi-monthly pay period, or twice a month, means you're getting 24 pay periods in a year. Uh, Bi-weekly means you're getting 26 because, again, you're getting paid every two weeks. And since there are uh, 26 bi-weekly pay periods, 52 weeks in a year, uh, 26 bi-weekly pay periods during that time, uh, then you're going to get uh, basically 26 pay periods, which means that two months you'll have three pay periods. Uh, and a lot of people, what they do is they budget based on having two pay periods in a month, and that third one is kind of when they catch up or they use that money for uh, extras, things like that. The problem is in bankruptcy, we do budgeting based on the month. And so if you have a three pay period month, um, then you're obviously going to have a lot of extra uh, for that particular month, but what we do is we average it out. Instead of having uh, just two pay periods in a month, you're really having two plus percentages. Uh, when we do a budget using biweekly pay periods, the amount of money you're seeing every month in our budget when you do an average is actually more on paper than you actually really see. Because again, you're seeing uh, in reality two paychecks in that month, but for purposes of budgeting, we're averaging in those two months where you have uh, three pay periods. So uh, you may see, for let's just as an example, you may see uh, $2,000 uh, as a, in, in terms of Two, two monthly pay periods, when you average it out over the course of a year, that may end up being $2,300, $2,400, something like that. So you'll actually end up with more on paper than you will have in real life. And so when we do a budget, we've got to use the average. Uh, real life, of course, you're using what you actually see. So it's really important uh, to know the difference. When we sit down to do a budget, we can factor in uh, the actual expenses on the course of a, over the course of a month, as well as your income over the course of the month. So we won't have we won't show uh, any disposable money when, in fact, you don't really see any disposable money. Uh, so again, it gets a little tricky, but at bottom line, it means that we've got to be real careful in doing our budget. We've got to really figure out how that works so that we show an accurate budget. And this is again where we look at bankruptcy over the course of the long term meaning we want to factor in uh, things like a new roof you may need or dental expenses you may have or car repairs, tires, things like that. That's a good way to use up uh, funds that don't, that are kind of phantom funds. They don't really exist in real life except for those two months where you have three pay periods. Uh, but in reality, you're basing your budget on two, pay, two paychecks a month because that's what you get most of the time. So again, uh, it's important to know the difference. So when, somebody, when your attorney says, how often do you get paid? You say, I get a couple of paychecks a month. Um, do you mean you're paid twice a month or are you being paid biweekly? It makes a really big difference for purposes of bankruptcy. So again, uh, we can talk about the details when we sit down to do it, uh, do a budget. But for now, just be aware that there is a big difference between biweekly and semi-monthly. And you need to know which, which way you're getting paid so that the uh, budget we do in bankruptcy can be done properly. Hope this has been helpful. Again, Jonathan Ginsberg here. Any questions about budgeting or pay periods, uh, call my office. We'll be happy to help. Thanks for your attention, and we'll talk to you soon.